We, the undersigned residents of the Bond Place Hotel Shelter Program, write this petition to implore your immediate intervention and assistance in bringing about the much needed change in the shelter's operating principles. The persistent and egregious violations of basic human rights, coupled with the callous treatment that we, as homeless individuals, endure on a daily basis, have compelled us to unite and demand justice. We demand that the shelter management be held accountable for their actions, which demonstrate a complete disregard for our dignity, safety, and well-being. It is our firm belief that the shelter should serve as a place of refuge, rehabilitation, and support, rather than a breeding ground for oppression, exploitation, and degradation. The specific grievances we raise against the shelter management include 1. Unjust evictions. People are being evicted without valid reasons or proper explanations, leaving them vulnerable on the streets without any support or resources. 2. Invasion of privacy. Male staff members enter rooms without knocking, even when women are showering, violating their basic right to privacy and dignity. This often re-traumatizes victims of egregious sexual and physical adverse childhood traumas. This violation is particularly distressing for female residents who have had no choice but to experience these intrusions. There have even been instances where a resident was forced to shower in front of male staff members, which is a deplorable invasion of human rights and privacy. Such practices disregard their right to privacy, dignity, and personal comfort. Three, arbitrary bag limits. The implementation of a two-bag limit, which is not documented anywhere in the shelter's standards, has resulted in the deprivation of basic necessities and further marginalizes an already vulnerable population. Four, neglect of elderly, sick, and disabled residents. The eviction of elderly and sick clients because of their increased need for care demonstrates a sheer lack of compassion and respect for human life. For instance, one gentleman was discharged while in the hospital because he required too much care for the shelter to provide. Instead of finding a suitable nursing home or care facility, he was released onto the streets. This decision has left him homeless and vulnerable, sleeping on the streets nearby. This callous action is both horrific and inhumane as it disregards his basic human right to dignity, safety, and appropriate care. Five. Harassment and belittlement. Residents are subjected to aggressive attacks, harassment and belittlement, effectively silencing any form of dissent or expression of discontent. Six, safety. Staff allowed rapists to continue living in the shelter months, even years after they have committed sexual assault. There are numerous reports of rape, sexual harassment, physical violence, and men physically abusing women sexually. Guns and knives are common, and the absence of active video cameras makes us extremely vulnerable. Staff's inconsistent punishments based on their feelings rather than facts have lasting effects. Six, the use of non-touch torture techniques. Residents have reported traumatizing and re-traumatizing events take place in the shelter system, including the use of non-touch torture techniques. Threats of relocation occur frequently, even for minor issues, causing constant panic. Staff create an unsafe feeling in our living environment by moving our belongings around, contributing to our distress. Male staff have offered to pay residents for sex, and gaslighting tactics are employed to manipulate us. All residents are already extremely traumatized, and these practices are appalling. 7. Lack of mental health awareness. The lack of adequate training for staff regarding privilege, control, compassion, and trauma-informed care exacerbates our trauma. Staff do not practice kindness, compassion, or trauma-informed care. They lack the necessary training to address the level of privilege and control they have over traumatized individuals, many with adverse sexual childhood trauma. We firmly believe that the shelter management's conduct is not only morally reprehensible, but also illegal, as it violates our fundamental human rights. Therefore, we humbly request your urgent and thorough investigation into these matters, with a focus on holding those responsible accountable for their actions. Furthermore, we implore you to advocate for the following changes to the shelter's operating principles. One, transparency and accountability. The shelter management must provide clear explanations for evictions and adhere to established policies and guidelines consistently. Two, respect for privacy and dignity. A zero tolerance policy for any practice that infringes upon the privacy and dignity of residents must be implemented. This includes prohibiting male staff from entering rooms without knocking, particularly when women are showering. Three, 
Removal of arbitrary bag limits. The shelter must eliminate any arbitrary restrictions on personal belongings, ensuring that residents have access to the basic necessities required for survival. Four, enhanced care for vulnerable individuals. The shelter should establish protocols to provide necessary care and support for elderly and sick residents, ensuring that there is a place for those that need elevated care if the shelter is unable to provide, instead of abandoning them to life-threatening situations on the streets. Five, prohibition of harassment and belittlement. A safe and respectful environment should be fostered within the shelter, where residents are encouraged to voice their concerns without fear of retaliation. Staff should be held accountable for allowing rapists and abusers to continue residing in the shelter. Six, improved safety measures. The shelter must implement improved safety measures, including active video cameras, to protect residents from harassment, violence, and threats. Staff should be trained to handle safety issues consistently and effectively. Seven, trauma-informed care training. Comprehensive training in trauma-informed care and compassion should be mandatory for all staff ensuring they understand and respect the traumatic experiences many residents have faced. We, the undersigned, believe that as the ombudsman, you possess the power and authority to facilitate real change within the shelter system. By signing this petition, we express our unwavering support for your efforts in holding the shelter management accountable and demanding justice for the homeless community. Thank you for your attention to this urgent matter. We count on your unwavering commitment to advocating for our rights and well-being. Sincerely, Bond Residents. Sincerely